Hello there! In this video, we are going to learn how to identify an arithmetic sequence. So is the given sequence arithmetic? Sa video na to may papakita tayong dalawang halimbawa ng sequence. Tapos kailangan lang natin ma-identify kung yung given ay arithmetic sequence o hindi. So, sa first example natin, we have this sequence, 2, 4, 8, 14, 22, and so on. Yun yung ibig sabihin, itong tatlong malilit na tuldok, magkakasunod, ang ellipses, ibig sabihin yan, this sequence goes on forever. So, paano natin masasabi na arithmetic sequence itong example A natin? Para maging arithmetic ang isang sequence, dapat may nag-e-exist na common difference. Ano yung common difference? Basically, yun yung number na dinagdag mo sa isang number para ma-achieve mo or makuha mo yung kasunod niya. So, anong in K2 para maging 4? Anong in K4 para maging 8? Anong in K8 para maging 14? Finally, anong in K14 para maging 22? <coughs> now, para maging arithmetic sequence itong example 8, dapat may common difference. Which means, kung ano man yung number na yun na in para makuha yung kasunod nitong mga to, dapat common or puro parehas. Evaluate nga natin. So, si 2 para maging 4, nag-add ng 2. Si 4 para maging 8, nag-add ng 4. 8 naman para maging 14, nag-add ng 6. And then finally, si 14 para maging 22, nag-add ng 8. Although itong mga number na to ay magandang tingnan, meron pattern, unfortunately, hindi sila common. Which means, this example... Example A is not an arithmetic sequence. Evaluate natin yung sumunod nating example. So sa example B, we have 4, 10, 16, 22, and 28. Of course, it goes on forever. Now, ito bang example B natin? Yung sequence B ba natin ay arithmetic sequence? Again, we can only say that if a common difference exists. So, meron bang inad? Ang inad ba kay 4 para maging 10 ay kaparehas ng inad kay 10 para maging 16, kay 16 para maging 22, 22 para maging 28? Let's see. So, 4 para maging 10, nag-add tayo ng 6. 10, para maging 16, nag-add din tayo ng 6. So far, pareha sila. Tignan natin kung ganun para sa lahat. Si 16, para maging 22. Guess what? Nag-add din tayo ng 6. Then finally, si 22 para maging 28, kailangan natin mag-add ng 6. Pansinin na lahat ng numbers na to sa baba, Yung in para makuha yung kasunod na term ay puro parehas. Which means, common difference, common difference for this example, for this given sequence, is 6. And again, kagaya na sabi natin kanina, kapag may common difference, Pag puro parehas yung number na i-add mo para makuha yung kasunod nilang term, ibig sabihin yung given sequence ay arithmetic sequence. Another way to do that, kung halimbawa ang malalaki na yung number, nahirap mag-isip ng inad, pwede mong isubtract. That's why actually kaya difference ang tawag kasi originally to find them, you need to subtract a term dun sa term na nauna sa kanya. Again, one way to find the common difference is to subtract, to find the difference between a term and the term preceding it. 
Ano yung nauna sa kanya? So, si 28, pwede kong isubtract sa 22 para mahanap yung common difference. So, 28 minus 22 will give us 6. Pwede ring 22 minus 16, that will also give you 6. Pwede ring 16 minus 10, that will also give you 6. And then, finally, 10 minus 4, that will give you 6. Pwede ka naman pumili sa kanila ng kahit na ano and then subtract mo yung number na nauna sa kanya. Yung number na lalabas, yun yung iyong common difference. If the given sequence is an arithmetic sequence. Of course, you can't choose the first term kasi walang nauna sa kanya. Pero marami ka namang pagpipili ang iba. So that's how you identify if a sequence is arithmetic. Now it's your turn. Which among these is an example of arithmetic sequence? Meron tayong sequence C, 32, 29, 26, 23, 20, and so on. And then we have sequence D, 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, and so on. Alin sa kanila ang, com ang arithmetic sequence? Kung meron man, ano yung common difference? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching.